Good afternoon. Um, I normally don't do sign readings just because I don't feel like they're very relevant. I just, <laughs> it's my personal opinion. Um, but today is just, that's what I was pulled to do. So I didn't choose the signs. This is what came out. So these are the three that I'm going to read. Um, Taurus is the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this. Um, now with this here, uh, there's some self-esteem issues with this Taurus energy. Now it could be feminine, masculine, you know, whatever it is, but there's, um, a lot of issues with self-esteem. And even sometimes when you have issues with your self-worth or you're insecure about certain features or certain habits, certain things about yourself, you have a tendency of making judgments or, um, let's see, like projecting, projecting onto other people, you know, whatever it is that you believe, whether or not it's true or anything, it's just a matter of perception. All right. So because you feel a certain type of way about yourself, that's basically what you project into the world. That's how you judge people. Hi, Allie. How are you? Um, so when you're doing things like that, you know, it makes it hard for you to see situations and people for what they truly are or what it really is. Because you always, there's always going to be some type of bias. There's going to be something in you that's like, oh, well, you feel a type of way because you're already jealous or you're already insecure. You already feel a type of way about it. So all it's going to take is the thought of it or the impression of it or something happening with that. That's going to be like, okay, well, this is the judgment. This is the, you know, I was right. They are this way or this is how the situation is when... A lot of the time, if you take out your emotions from a situation, you have, um, you're able to see it clearer. Okay. But when you're emotionally invested in a situation, it's always going to be clouded. Whatever judgments, whatever needs to be decided on is always going to be clouded. So you need to remove the emotional aspects of this and see where your perceptions are coming from. See where the insecurities, see why you're judging or, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, just try to find the... Look deeper within yourself, okay? Because it's, it's it's stemming from somewhere. It's not just coming out of thin air. And, you know, um, when you make snap judgments or you just jump to conclusions without even getting to know someone or having a conversation with them in regards to it, you run the risk of actually losing a good connection, a good friendship, you know, a good job. You run the risk of losing things because you're not open-minded enough to have a conversation or step outside of yourself or step away from your insecurities. Okay, so again, this isn't going to be for everybody, but there's somebody here that's like you're going to end up losing out on something because you're so stuck in these insecurities or these uh, thought processes. Um, yeah, and uh, again, you're either watching somebody or vice versa, so you'll know if you're the stalker or not. But understand, whatever it is, if you have feelings for someone and you feel like in, you feel insecure in that, you know, why do you feel insecure? Has this person made you feel insecure in the relationship, in the situation, whatever it is? Like, have they triggered something inside of you to make you feel that way? And if they did, where does that insecurity stem from? Because a lot of the time, this shit goes all the way back to childhood or some type of trauma that you've experienced growing up or as an adult. All right. So, you know, see what it is, because what I'm seeing here is like you're watching someone and you're making assumptions based on what you're seeing instead of actually having a conversation with the person and gain, gaining clarity on that. You know, you can't you can't go off of what you see. Okay, you just can't because the reality is a lot of people have social media and it's not who the fuck they are. There's maybe 5% of truth in the shit, you know, so it's not, it's manipulation. That's a lot of the shit is manipulation. So, you know, really take the time out, speak to the person if you want to speak to them, get to know them, hear their side of the story, whatever it is, because it seems like you're jumping to conclusions and you're probably making a lot of bad assumptions from what it, what I'm seeing here. You're not jumping to the right ones. Um, and for some of you, this is a twin flame situation and you might know this or you might feel this or you might suspect it. There's something inside of you, either you're, you feel it, that you feel there's something different about this connection. And that's probably why you haven't let it go because it's like, if you're still watching somebody, then you haven't let the relationship, the relationship go. Okay. <laughs> but they're showing that. I don't know if you're ready or someone else is ready for a commitment. 
Um, maybe both of you. I don't know, but this uh, this needs to get healed. <laughs> okay. Um, because whatever this is, it's you or this other individual, somebody is very financially stable. Um, so, you know, the King of Pentacles, very grounded, very secure, you know, probably within themselves and financially. And, um, we have an energy here where either you like to laugh and joke around or the other person or both of you together like to do this. And you guys have a lot of fun together when you guys are around one another. Um... And maybe it's because you guys have very different lives or you guys can be together and still have your life separately and it not be a problem or a fight, you know. Um, you know, you feel complete within yourselves. So you have an interdependent relationship. But there's something here about a third party or an affair. Um, now, either... Okay, so somebody could be the third party or there is a third party outside of the situation. But however it is, I feel like it's, I don't, I don't, I feel like you may have been a third party or vice versa. The person you're watching may have been a third party, but it's something that's, it's been a secret. Like a lot of people don't know that it's happening or has happened or it is happening right now. But it's like, um, you know, you don't go out anywhere with this person. Or if you guys do go out, then a lot of people don't see you guys going out. You don't post anything on social media about them. You know, it's um, maybe you haven't met family or friends. And if you have, then it's been under a, like, this is my friend type of energy. Um, and again, I'm getting um, Earth energy. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You know, I don't know if that's just confirming your energy or the person you're dealing with. And the sign can be anywhere in your chart, so please, this is why I don't like doing sign readings, but just, but anyways, there's something here that it's um, a truth. So maybe one of these signs are going to come and express truth to you, okay? Maybe it's a strong, passionate, loving truth, and that's what's going to be um, expressed, okay? Or maybe they're going to let you know that they did have an affair or that, you know, it was nothing, whatever it was that happened. You know, it's something here that they, somebody needs to step into and speak truth on. And now I have Scorpio energy, um, you know, and that's kind of more of an obsessive, secretive, manipulative type of energy, which kind of goes back to the beginning of this, where if you're jealous or insecure, whatever it is, you know, this lustful type of energy, you really have to sit with yourself and make sure that these are appropriate feelings and that you're... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? You're exhibiting them in a healthy way. Um, they're saying you need to follow your higher self. You need to trust your higher self, okay? Because you're resisting this. And I don't know if you're resisting it because maybe you feel like this is obsessive or it's just a lustful connection or maybe you're just afraid and you don't want to give into that. But your body is telling you something that you're not listening to. Like your body keeps telling you you have to go somewhere. And it seems like you may have put someone, like you may have cut somebody off or you may have ghosted somebody or you just like got somebody on hold because you're trying to see how a situation is going to work out with somebody else. You know, and you're like, well, maybe this situation or this person is better than the other one. But understand when you put people on hold or you ghost people or you stop talking to people, they're not going to sit and wait for you. You know, they're going to move on with their lives, especially if you're not having conversations or giving clarity about what the fuck is going on. So, you know, whatever it is, but maybe your intuition is pulling you towards someone that you've ghosted or cut off. And that's why they're trying to get you to communicate or talk to them. And maybe this is something you're just now realizing, like maybe you went, you went where you thought the grass was greener and maybe it wasn't so green over there. You know, maybe you realize that you were happier with this other individual or you had a better connection with the other person that you're not talking to right now. But understand that for some of you, this is going, you connecting with this person is going to be within the next few months. Um, and, you know, you're going to be able to take that leap of faith, but you're only going to do this if you actually trust the messages that your body is giving you. And for some of you, you're actually planning like maybe you've been watching this person, studying this person, learning this person, and you're actually planning to 
take them out or something. You're, there's some type of plan or preparation happening here. And whatever this was, you know, maybe before you used to just do stuff and it was like half-hearted. You know, your heart wasn't really in it. Or maybe the situation you're in right now is like you're making some type of an effort, but it's not really a wholehearted effort because your heart is somewhere else. It belongs to somebody else. Um, and here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just... Ugh. So again, we're back here with the jealousy. And, you know, you have to understand when we get hurt if we okay let's say we're in a relationship the person we're with fucking cheated on us lied to us did all types of shit the next relationship if we don't heal from that we're gonna go into it believing that this person's lying to us cheating on us and doing everything the last person did because we're still holding that trauma we're still holding that pain so you need to let that go okay you have to heal that because if you go and you start accusing people or you're suspicious of people and they're really not doing anything they're going to get tired and they're going to fucking leave because it's like, I don't need the shit. I can just go be somewhere else and not have to deal with this. Okay, so really see where you're at with this because whatever this jealousy is, this is just, um, it turns into controlling and then it's like it progressively gets worse until it's an abusive behavior. Nobody wants that in their life. <coughs> Thank you. Excuse me. <coughs> Oh my god. <clears throat> Jesus. Alright, so... Whatever it is, you know, like, this person... it's, And I feel like it's more of the Taurus energy. That they feel very insecure about themselves. Like, they don't feel... You know, maybe they feel like they're not good enough. Or they're not attractive enough. Or they don't have enough. Whatever it is, you have to be comfortable within yourself. You have to love the good and the bad in you you know whether or not you're the most attractive or the ugliest fucking person walking on the earth you have to love that about yourself you know it's not about looks everybody's always like oh well looks 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 it's not about looks it's not about fucking money okay at least it should not be about those things for some people it is about all of those things you know but for the most part there are decent people that base it on personality how you treat me how i feel when i'm around you it's that type of energy you know because i don't give a fuck what you look like you treat me shitty you could be the most gorgeous man in the fucking world fuck you i'm moving somewhere else um so you know it's more don't don't weigh so heavily on the material things on the superficial things don't put so much emphasis on those things okay focus more on who you are what you have to offer as a person not financially none of that shit it's who you are as an individual you know am i a caring person am i a loving person am i an honest person you know do you come from a good place like in your heart space is it a good place so work on that because this energy here it's like okay so you're very guarded and you're watching this person because you're afraid of getting hurt okay so you try to keep all your relationships at a superficial level because then you can't get hurt, you can't get committed, you can't anything, which would make sense why you're only watching this person because you probably felt the connection with them and that's what scared you and it was easier to push them away than to continue to allow it to grow, okay? But it seems like this is something you're regretting, <clears throat> okay? So, you know, you can't get close to people and then pull away because it's not... It's hurting the other person. <laughs> it's not only hurting you, it's hurting both of you. You know, you have to believe that if you have a genuine connection with somebody, you can't really think that, okay, if I pull away, then I'm the only one hurting or you're preventing hurt. No, because now you're deliberately hurting yourself and you're hurting the other person by pulling away, especially if you're not communicating any of this. So sometimes it's better to just, you know, jump in, see what happens, because right now it seems like you've caused a lot more suffering and pain than you probably would have experienced if you would have just allowed things to progress. Um, but yeah, again, this they're just giving me that there's definitely a love situation or a love offer that's either being presented or is going to be presented, but somebody might be very guarded against it. So, you know, take it how it resonates for you if you're the one making the offer or not. 
you know, but it's um, it's something that's going to bring balance back to the situation. So if this was something that was unbalanced and someone expressed their love before and it was not reciprocated or vice versa, however that is, it's like there's balance being brought in now. So maybe you've learned lessons, maybe the person you're with that you don't feel so, um, you know, the person you decided to be with instead of the one you ghosted, maybe you realize that that's not your person and, you know, you there was some lesson in that for you. Because they're showing that there is definitely um, a clearing of karma and balance being brought back in. And they keep giving me love. Like, a lot of, lot of red <laughs> and a lot of love. <laughs> um, so, yes, you know, maybe this will turn into a long, everlasting relationship. It'll be love, beautiful, romance, everything that you want. But this is something, it's like, you know, this is... Um, they keep talking about confidence. They keep talking about the self-worth. They keep talking about you not having that faith. So understand, if you're a pessimistic person and you already believe that things aren't going to work out for you, then they're not going to work out for you because you've already set yourself up for failure. In your mind, you've already failed. So that's a mindset you need to change, especially if you found love or true love and this is a person you want to have a relationship with. You don't want to go into it assuming the worst. You don't want to go into it with jealousy and insecurity because that's only going to deteriorate. You know, it's going to fuck up the relationship in the long run. But it's like you have to find this confidence within yourself that you are good enough. And it seems like whoever this is, is like they have an image, like a persona that they um, they put on for the world. And it's not really who they are. It's like maybe they like more expensive things or they buy more expensive things. And it's not, that's not really who they are. You know, it's like a show. It's like, okay, well, you know, maybe they didn't have a lot growing up. So now it's like, oh, well, look, I have all this money. Look, I have nice shoes. I have nice coats. I have nice jewelry. You know, whatever the fuck it is. And it's more of a look at what the fuck I accomplished to other people as opposed to you know them saving and investing and actually putting it into something that's going to be beneficial for them and you know just blowing money you know um so yeah you you'll know if this is a person or if this is you if you're a person who's more superficial or likes to put on shows or like show off you'll know if this is you okay but it seems like they might have um for some of you it might be like a false confidence like, it's like a false confidence that they're showing when it's like, oh, well, you know what, this is, I have all this stuff. And it's like, oh, I'm happy. I have everything. They're not. That's not true. They're, <laughs> they feel really lonely. Okay. So whoever this is, because if you are this person and whoever you ghosted and you stopped talking to, you miss them. Okay. You miss that connection. You miss the conversation. You miss this energy. You miss it. And no matter how much you pretend and act like everything's okay, it's not. It's not okay. And again, it's still saying within by the end of the year. Um, so if you were, okay, so you might have been dating multiple people, like a lot of people and everybody either maybe knew about each other or didn't know about each other. But it's just that's something that you do and depending on what you've been through, you know, it's okay. It's if you're dating, you know, date as many people as you want. Don't fuck everybody, but date as many people as you want. Get to know people. That's the purpose of dating. But let other people know that's what you're doing. Let them know, hey, I'm talking to this person, you know, and I'm talking to that person, especially if you're sleeping with the person and you're sleeping with other people. That's also a discussion to have, you know, so it seems like maybe somebody was surprised to learn that you were dating multiple people or you were with multiple people you know it was something that was unexpected and that's maybe why it's like this ghosted energy is here and you stop talking to them like there's a lot of different things that's coming out here but whatever that is just um be honest that's the best thing i could say you know if you're trying to date multiple people then it is what it is but be honest about it okay because again it was like Jesus, what is this? There's like affection, you know, maybe somebody seen you like hugging or kissing somebody or holding hands. Like there was something that was seen and it maybe caught somebody else by surprise. They were like, oh my God, I can't believe I seen this or this is happening. Um, And again, the cheating energy, the third party energy here. 
So this person may have been acting single, but they really weren't single. And maybe that's why it was a surprise to learn that they were dating, or it was a surprise to learn that you weren't the only one. Oh, sh I don't know. Um, and again, yeah, because they're saying like it was a facade, like this person made it seem like they were single and they weren't with anybody, but in reality, they were in a long term relationship. Um, you know, and it's, you know, it's just, it, it's caught people by surprise. So when this happened, it's like there was, there's a decision that this person has to make. And it's in regards to either if they were married, there's a decision that has to be made, or if it was just a long-term relationship, there's something here that needs to be made because there is true love in this situation. And you'll know who this true love situation is with because wherever you went to, I don't believe that's where it is because you keep thinking about the person you're not talking to. You keep watching the person you're not talking to. You know, whatever it was that came to light that's the person that you keep you're you keep coming back to that person okay that energy keeps going back to that individual <clears throat> sorry let me see so but they're saying that you and this individual you will cross paths again, but it's going to be once you make a decision. Once you say, okay, you know what, this is the person I want, this is the person I don't want, this is where I'm going, this is not where I'm going. You know, whatever that is, that is, um, that's when everything is going to work out. Okay, and they're saying that you're going to be the one to approach this person or ask this person out on a date and you know that's probably how you guys will probably start talking again if you haven't been talking to them if you've been avoiding them you know whatever that is <coughs> excuse me so trying to see if there's anything else here that i need to say yeah so again just trust your intuition, trust your higher self, and be cautious as to the judgments that you're making, and make sure they're not doing. You're not doing it from a place of insecurity or lack, okay? Because, like I said, there's someone you're watching that you haven't been speaking to, and it's like you're giving this, uh, basically putting on a show of perception of everything's okay, I'm fine, you know, I don't need that person, I don't love that person, I don't care about that person. But again, this is your twin flame and there's some type of an awakening, some type of understanding that you have to this because you've been feeling a different type of emptiness, a different type of loneliness since you haven't been talking to this individual. Um, let's see. Yeah, because whatever it was, it was like you were putting in very little effort. So maybe you are dating if you weren't dating before, you know, if you were and then you stopped after all the shit blew up in your face. Um, it's like you're dating, but it's like you're not putting in a lot of effort into what it is that you're doing because your mind or your heart is set somewhere else. So that's where your energy is going. So whatever that is for you. Um, and again, yeah. So whatever the affair was, the jealousy... You know, there's just a lot of third party energy and a lot of guarded energy and just a lot of secrecy. So just the only thing I could say is be honest, okay? Because that shit just eliminate it, it eliminates so much fuckery. Like you stand in your truth, what people are gonna say? Oh, they they told me the truth and you didn't like it, okay. There's no more shit to talk past that. <laughs> like, okay, I'm okay with the truth. Fuck you. Um, yeah, so whatever this is Again, once this love offer is made, or the truth is spoken about this love, this emotion, everything's going to be balanced. The mask, the facades, whatever that is, is going to fall. Like, that's going to be done with. And then you're going to be left with a decision. Okay, so it's you or this other person that's going to be left with a decision. And again, it's just maybe somebody's very, um, you know, very obsessed with love or is just very jealous because they feel so strongly about this person. But, you know, this could lead to marriage, long-term commitment, if this is the route that you want to take. <clears throat> so, 
let's see anything else yeah um pay attention to what's going on around you okay and it's more of feeling with your body more of trusting your intuition it's about releasing any self-esteem that you have and finding your confidence um we have leo energy here now excuse me um <clears throat> so yeah this is where this is stemming from you know it's hard to admit to yourself that you have low self-esteem okay so that's the first thing is really like not the fucking the confidence not the persona not the mask not none of the bullshit the shows you put on for people really take a minute take some time sit with yourself and you know really assess yourself and say you know what why am i jealous what about me makes me feel insecure and why are you insecure were you picked on did people make fun of that insecurity did they amplify it so much that it triggers an insecurity in you now like see what it is about that because once you're okay with it you know there's things you can't change like the way i look i can't change it it is what the fuck it is <laughs> like i don't if i like my nose i don't like my nose i like my ears i don't like my ears it is a part of me so ultimately it's something i should love because if i love myself i'm gonna love all of me i don't care if it's attractive or unattractive to other people i love me so this is my body i'm gonna love my body because it's mine you know it is where it houses my soul it is what keeps me healthy it's what keeps me here to be a parent to my children you know find the positive aspects find the beautiful things in these okay stop looking at the negative because once you overcome that they're saying confidence is what's going to win it's going to take over whatever it is that you're wanting or trying to go after that is how you're going to get it is by letting go of this low self-esteem and being confident in your decision and your choice all right so that was a taurus reading i hope you guys gained something from this i don't know <laughs> i love you guys thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna do two more i'll talk to you in a minute